I think I understand the gimmick here. Once you give the object of salvation to a shrine, you are given a stone of enlightenment. You transcend the realm once you place the stone in the hands of the same colored Buddha inside the temple. The inscriptions speak of the path of Sita Biwawa. Denied Nirvana by pride, the once Sita Biwawa found himself in the realm of the gods, complacent in their heavenly heights. Only with the Buddha's song-filled voice did he escape into the next realm, the battlefields of the Asuras Titans. The Titans know nothing more than to fight the gods for their glittering realm and fight amongst themselves. Biwawa found himself caught within the frenzy until he followed the light of Buddha's flaming sword. The Titans cowered before it as he escaped and entered the kingdom of animals. In his new form, he hunted with animal cunning, forgetting all of Buddha's teachings. But something inside him stirred when Buddha appeared before him with the Book of Knowledge and he learned once more. He escaped, but found himself within the bowels of hell. Biwawa is an interesting name for a Sita. It roughly means bad man. I suppose the name foreshadowed his ultimate indiscretion with pride. Here's another tale I heard of Biwawa. Well, he's bad, a bad, a Biwawa, a baddest man in Shangri-La, wiser than a Obi-Wan, a meaner than a Genghis Khan. Biwawa heard the howls of the damned echoing the very hatred they were punished for. Terrible flame licked all around him by day, by night he shivered in the hells of cold. Then the Buddha showed him the purifying fire that cleansed his sin, sending him traveling again to the realm of Pratis. Then he found himself among the Pratis, tortured creatures tantalized by all things material. Biwawa had never felt such hunger until the Buddha descended again and let him taste the spiritual fruit. And Biwawa felt want no more. Buddha finally bade him to return to the human realm. Humbly, Biwawa would have to begin the path anew to regain his former peace. He would need to overcome the vice of pride, the pride that made him think that he was better than others. So his atonement would only end by helping another. Then, the Sita could be again.